Okay, hello everyone. Today I'm going to be showing you how to just flow frame, well not even flow frame, uh, dead frame your own clips really quickly on Vegas. Uh, I make them but they might end up getting removed at some point or I might not have the scenes you want and you just want to make it yourself. So I'm going to show you. So I have a whole episode here. I'm going to put it in. Now I always do mine at 30 FPS. So even if I edit at like 25, I have no dead frames whatsoever and it's smooth you can do 60 fps 60 fps means you have a lot of frames honestly do what you want so i'm just gonna grab a scene just don't if you're flow framing just don't do anything under 30 fps i think so we, we can do this clip of her looking out the window um what I'm about to do is completely optional, but you can just put the clip through a pre-comp clip uh, and that's the timeline like I did in my last video. Um, but this creates like an extra um, project file, so that's all up to you. If you're gonna... There we go. Okay. So we have the clip, be nice, there we go, and what are we going to do is just stretch it out till all the movement is like stopped, and then down here there's an icon called auto ripple, so basically anything that's cut, so this is very close, zoom into each frame like this, for some reason it's automatically gone to 24 FPS, it wasn't supposed to do that, so you have to make sure it doesn't do that. It's got to be 30 FPS, not 24. So you're going to zoom in, go frame by frame with your arrow keys, press S to cut a frame. So right now that's just one frame, we have to look for our moving frame so you can see the hair moved here. Um, if you're on PC you press ALT inward bracket so it, and then the auto ripple makes it automatically go to this frame. I'm going to show you what happens if you don't have auto ripple on, so if I turn it off what it's going to do, so if I pressed alt inward bracket or if I press this icon down here to delete everything before, so trim the start of it, um, which is alt inward bracket, it just leaves it here and I would just want to drag it across because it saves closing the gaps at the very end of the process. So yeah, then we just do the same, so you can either press this icon if you're on your laptop or press alt inward bracket, there we go. And we just do that for each frame that's moving, so it's constantly moving, like this. And now I create dead frames, not flow frames, I got them confused before. Um, and then afterwards you stick it into the flow frames interpolator, um, and then do what you need to, so. I'll actually try and do it for you. I'm actually not entirely sure how to use it myself, which is ironic. This goes on for quite a while. So we're just going to keep on doing this. There is a script on After Effects for this, but there's no script on Vegas. But honestly, when you get the hang of it, it does like it doesn't take that long once you know the shortcuts and the keys and stuff. So I think it's perfectly fine. Some people can be lazy though, which I understand. Okay, the movement has stopped, so this is what it looks like. Pretty smooth, and then we go back from our pre-comp. This looks like this, it's automatically repeating itself, but it actually loops perfectly without you noticing, which is um, quite good. So we're just going to render the flow framed bit we want. Again, why are you on... So you have to make sure it stays on the correct FPS you want it, otherwise it just does a weird thing. So here's our flow framed clip. You can do more than just one clip, you don't have to do one, but I'm pretty sure most people just do each clip, all the clip separately. So, dead framed. She say that's the name of the character. Do your settings. Now usually I don't actually flow frame my clips just because it does the blur and sometimes that blur glitches and it just doesn't look good in my eyes but if you want to use it you can use it so uh, do I have the flow frame software? 
No, I deleted it. Okay. Well. Yeah, so this is- uh, I'm only showing how to do the dead frames because, like, I have had a few people ask me how I do it all the time. And, you know, I'm my dead frames pack probably won't have something you might need. So you, you can do this yourself really quickly. Um, or you can just ask me to make them. So, um, 